University of Pennsylvania Law School had to go into damage control this week after one of its professors made racist comments about Asians and the Asian American community in a letter published online. Her comments read in part, uh, maybe it's just that Democrats love open borders and Asians want more Asians here. Perhaps they are just mesmerized by the feel-good cult of diversity. I don't know the answer, but as long as most Asians support Democrats and help to advance their positions, I think the United States is is better off with fewer Asians and less Asian immigration. Again, the professor's words. Joining me now is Sujin Jung, who is the co-president of the Asian Pacific American Law Students Association, and Apratim Vidyarthi, who is a third-year law student at UPenn. Guys, thanks both for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. First, We're happy to be yeah, thanks here. For having us. First of all, let's start with your reaction to those words. Sujin, we'll, we'll start with you. Sure. I mean, I think... My honest initial reaction was just um, not surprised. I think after the four years that we've had of President Trump, a lot of racist rhetoric and Asian Americans, a lot of hate crimes and attacks and feeling unsafe in America, this just um, initially seemed like just another incident. And yet I think as we continue to read more about what she said, actually listen to the interview, it was clear that this was really egregious. This was really blatant, explicit, and it came from a professor at, one of our, own, at our own law school. So. Um, it was pretty horrible. And yeah, I think this is just something that we need to mobilize against and we really need to fire Amy Wax. We'll, we'll get to that and your efforts in just a minute. But Upperton, if you would uh, tell me what your initial thoughts were when you read those comments as well. Yeah, disappointed and not surprised. Uh, we know she said similar things in the past. She said that uh, white European cultures are better than non-white European cultures in the past. She's lied about black students' performance in class. So it wasn't surprising, and it's about time that we do something about this. Well, together, you helped write a petition demanding for the school to take action against the professor, who we should mention is tenured and makes it quite difficult to remove her. In it, you say, Wax's racist comments have become a semi-annual ritual that receives temporary furor and temporary consequences. So, Upper Tim, you just uh, talked about some of the other comments that you've heard her make. Sujin, let's start with you on that as well. What have you heard over the years that makes this a pattern for you and not just an isolated incident? Sure. I mean, I have to say that when I got into Penn Law, I was really excited about being a lawyer, being able to go to a law school. And then one of the first incidents that I heard about was we have a really racist professor. Her name is Amy Wax. And so kind of right out of the gate, I was aware that this was something to be wary of, that this was someone that Penn Law had in its faculty. The incident that I had heard about um, was the idea that Black people had rarely graduated in the top half of her class or the top quarter of her class. And so um, obviously, that's demeaning to Black students. And as I continue to kind of be around Penn Law and hear about other quotes, I heard other things as well that Opera Tim said, that there should be fewer, fewer non-whites and more whites and things like that. The dean of the law school also called her comments anti-intellectual and racist. However, her status does grant her some protection, and that's got to be frustrating to you. What steps do you think the university should take, Opera Tim? Yeah, well, she's clearly unfit to teach or be a professor, given these white supremacist statements. And there is a clause in tenure that allows for termination for cause. Uh, we and the university should be investigating whether that clause can be activated. Um, and if not, if now is not the right time to use it, then when exactly is it? Because if I said something like that, or you said something like that, or an NFL coach said something like that, they'd be fired off the bat. Um, and in addition to that, I think that the university needs to suspend her from all teaching duties. She's currently teaching two classes, including conservative political and legal thought, which I feel is unfair to conservative students because they have to take that class with a white supremacist. So she shouldn't be allowed to come on campus. She shouldn't be allowed to interact with students while this investigation is ongoing. And I think the university needs to be incredibly transparent about this and um, put their money where their mouths are. All right, and lastly, this question is for both of you. First, Sujin, how is the Asian and Asian American student body feeling now, today, after these comments and in the midst of what's going on? I think there's a lot of disappointment at the administration. Um, as much as Amy Wax has said these things, we also know by now that it is a pattern, as we said in the petition. Um, the administration has had more than enough evidence that she's not a professor who reflects well on this institution, that does not align with its values towards racial justice and diversity, equity, and inclusion. And so, a lot of disappointment at the administration, um, even though the statement condemned um, what Wax said, 
they also are not doing more. And Upperton, how the, talk about the student body as a whole, you're a third year law student. Uh, how, how are you trying to get people to unite, to push for change despite the tenure situation? Yeah, I, I think that the first thing is to go through the university instead of the law school. And uh, the university has the ability to at least investigate this. I know that a lot of students are frustrated but I think there's also a little bit of hope given the events, uh, the national quote unquote reckoning on race that's happened in the last couple of years. Um, and finally, you know, Dr. Amy Gutman, the president of the university is up for ambassadorship. So uh, she should sort of put her uh, values up and up front and center and try and do something about this. All right. We would also just like to add at this point that ABC News did reach out to Professor Amy Wax for comment. And we did not receive a response. Sujin Jung and Operatim Bidyarthi, thank you so much for taking the time. Best of luck to both of you in your legal careers, which seem to be starting off promising. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.